Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a shop or drop where I go through all of the makeup items on Trend Mood as well as a few other accounts if I find necessary. And I tell you what, I will be either shopping or dropping from my shopping list. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the new makeup releases, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. If you are curious about the makeup that I'm wearing, it will be in the description box. I do have a video coming up by the end of the week showing you how I do this look, all of that, and these are gonna fall. I can't do anything about it. I bought a size that's way too large for me. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm doing this a little bit more frequently now. I'm trying to do it every two to three weeks the last time I did a shopper drop was two weeks ago and also this idea of course comes from Samantha March's will I buy it series so got to give her credit where credit is due thank you Samantha for being the mastermind behind these thoroughly entertaining videos all right so we're gonna start off with this Mac collection and you guys know I'm not gonna buy it I rarely ever feature Mac on my collection but I do like to chit chat about their products so they are coming out with the tempting fate collection this looks like a gorgeous fall collection and I have to say this looks really really stunning I don't think I want to get it but I kind of want to get it there's also some lipsticks in the collection and a few other things but of course the palette is what is truly catching my eye here it looks absolutely stunning gorgeous fall tones that I have a billion of so I'm going to be dropping this however it's definitely making me like turn my head so this looks beautiful the artwork looks beautiful really like that it looks like and this is already out BH Cosmetics and Iggy Azalea <laughs> collaborated for a totally 2000s collection passing on this you guys do know I have a love affair with BH Cosmetics I really do feel like they have one of the most amazing Using formulas for their price point. This looks a little bit cheap and childish to me, which I think is the aesthetic that's the intention. And I'm not one to stray away from makeup that looks childish, don't get me wrong. But this one, it just looks really cheap to me. It doesn't catch my eye. The color stories don't really speak to me. So I think I am going to drop this one from my list as well. I actually have zero interest, but it is available. It launched August 29th. Eyeshadow palettes are going to be $17 dollars which actually that's kind of a lot yeah no not interested in that one and this is available right now on the Ulta website I did want to let you guys know that I picked this up I'm scrolled back a little bit on trend mood so this isn't the actual palette photo but this is from the magazine that came out the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl do I agree that it looks like every other palette that they've launched every holiday absolutely it does but I buy them every holiday season and truth be told I love them every year I always love the quality I always love the colors story and while it is repetitive you know that doesn't really stop me <laughs> so I did order this it's on its way to my house I believe it might be in most Ulta stores if you want to go pick it up in person I probably should have done that it was an impulse purchase to just buy this online uh, but it looks really pretty haven't seen it in person but yes I did shop this was it maybe my most thought of purchase no do I care no I'm really excited for it okay so this looks like it's going to be for the holiday season from YSL. Packaging looks absolutely stunning. And look at the component right here for the eyeshadow palette. Very, very pink. I just talked about not caring about things being repetitive, but man, lots of pink palettes. The price of the YSL compacts are really really expensive and for me as far as their eyeshadows go they haven't made it worth it to me to purchase eyeshadows at the price that they sell them so i'm definitely gonna be dropping this very beautiful to look at but it doesn't look unique enough for me i'm not blown away by the ysl eyeshadow formula to be fair i've never tried it but i haven't heard enough to justify the purchase dropping it not very interested though it does look gorgeous don't get me wrong i might buy it i don't know you never know sometimes i'll just be online and i'm like bye 
Looks like ColourPop came out with a new palette called the Sonic Bloom. This was available August 22nd. Yeah, I'm not interested. I mean, that's kind of been the story lately for these ColourPop launches. Very, very boring, very uninteresting to me. I was put on their PR list at the beginning of the year and I was so excited and then all of a sudden I'm like underwhelmed by all of their launches. This is cute. I could probably repeat every shade in this palette over and over and over again within my ColourPop collection. Just too much for me. I'm a little bit fatigued or a lot fatigued, but speaking of fatigue, let's move on to the next collection by ColourPop that's next up on Trend Mood that has caught my eye, which is the ColourPop and Tinkerbell collection. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was low-key hoping to get this in PR. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Completely fine. I'm really eyeing that palette. It looks really beautiful. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Normally, I'm t I think I'll wait for a really good sale and I'll probably purchase some of the stuff because I do like Tinkerbell and I do really like the palettes. So I think I'm gonna shop the eyeshadow palettes tentatively right now in the future, but not right now. I don't need it right now. Looks really pretty. I've heard everything else in the collection is kind of like, eh, normal color pop. But the actual eyeshadow palette seems to be what most people are raving about and it looks gorgeous it's beautifully greened toned so yes I'm definitely interested in the palette for sure looks super cute everything else in the collection passing on don't have too much interest in this is very very intriguing so milk makeup came out with the sunshine under eye brightening light coverage concealer I don't know how I missed this I actually saw it and then I didn't think anything of it because I didn't see it really marketed anywhere but this I definitely want to pick up the next Sephora VIB sale mm, I wish I would have got this when it first launched but I do love the regular skin tint I haven't tried the new formulation but I love the old formulation it's one of my favorites for skin tints in the summer definitely will be buying this shopping this very intrigued I feel like it'd be cooling under the eyes I don't know I just I have a good feeling about this so I am definitely interested in this it looks like makeup by Mario is coming out with brows a brow collection here so a brow pencil is going to be $22 brow gel is going to be 20 I feel like so many brow products have come out lately this launch on August 27th my brow drawer is completely filled you guys so I'm going to drop this from my list I, I can't add another one I'm sure these are fine I really do like the products that he comes out with I'm not paying $20 for another brow gel I gotta get through what I have so I just have too much. I'm overwhelmed with the eyebrows. Here is a closer look at the Iggy collection with BH Cosmetics. I mean, it looks cute. I really like that packaging, but still, I'm still just not feeling it. This is interesting. I use Kaja on this side. So they have this new mascara called the Wink Lash Trio, where the three mascaras are held together by a magnet that lets you unlatch your favorite formula and produce a customized look. $28. One is a lash primer and brow serum. The other one is volumizing. And then the third one is lengthening. I'm gonna be dropping this, though it's very interesting. Like if I was active on a TikTok and was a TikTok makeup reviewer, I would do this for TikTok, it looks interesting. I think Kaja is trying to market their brand on TikTok, so I truly believe that they are creating these products with the intentions of it being put on TikTok. And I know that from behind the scenes, by the way, based on the emails that I get from them, they're really trying to push TikTok stuff. So I think that's where almost they get the ideas from this from. Very interesting. For for sure, it seems like the kind of thing that would go viral. I personally will not be picking it up, but kudos to you, Kaja. Very, very clever of you. <laughs> All right, so this launched two days ago. This is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara, and I can't believe this, but I actually got it in PR from them. So I tried it today, actually, and it wouldn't be something that I would buy. It would be a drop, but it's okay. I didn't really think anything was amazing about it, but keep in mind, I do have the smallest, smallest, thinnest, sparsest lashes, so it takes a good mascara for me to really like it. On my small lashes, this didn't impress me, however, I 
don't want to speak for everybody because everybody has different lashes. I find mascara to be a very, very personal thing unless the mascara really is amazing. But if you have small, short, sparse lashes like myself, it didn't too, do too much. It was fine. It wasn't like a terrible mascara, but I have mascaras that do better. So that's my quick little review on that. So the Be Perfect palette has been revealed and I've never tried from Be Perfect Cosmetics, but this palette looks really cute. A few of the shades do look a bit redundant, but this is a good color story if you're into earthy kind of tones. Semi-neutral, I wouldn't actually call this a neutral palette, but it has those more earthy tones. It's going to be $55.95, and I'm not going to lie, they look really cute. There also are some liquid shadows that are going to be $14.95 each. I really do want to try one of the Be Perfect palettes, because I know like Karen Harris loves it, Heather Austin loves them, and this one looks really, really cute. So I one day in the future, I'll try them. For now, I'm dropping this for my list because I'm over overwhelmed with the amount of palettes that I need to try and this is brand hasn't been too much on my radar as far as my YouTube channel goes but it looks absolutely beautiful and I've heard nothing but good things really about the formula. I do like that color story a lot. I really really do. Okay this is one I wanted to talk about. I actually got this in PR and I'm planning on reviewing it tomorrow so it should be up very soon. The ColourPop It's a Mood palette. I don't believe there's a release date on this but it's beautiful. This is one of the palettes that has a excited me and that hasn't happened frequently from ColourPop but I love the tones in here. It does kind of give me I believe the palette is called It's Jaded. Is that what it's called? The one that Kathleen Lights collaborated on with them. It gives me that kind of vibe. It looks really gorgeous. Definitely would have shopped this. I'm really excited that it showed up at my house, but I would have bought this with my own money. So this looks gorgeous. I can't wait to try it out. Be on the lookout because I will be reviewing this palette. I am super, super excited. So it looks like M Cosmetics is coming out with these dewy eyeshadows is what they're calling them. They are Cosmic Pearl, or they're calling them Cosmic Pearl by M Cosmetics. These will be available September 9th. I don't doubt that these aren't gorgeous. It's a collection of multiple shades, seven shades to be exact, $26 each. That's a lot for a single shadow. So for that reason, I'm gonna say drop. I feel like, and I can't speak on this because I have touched neither formula, but these are giving me vibes of the new Flower Beauty eyeshadow palette that came out, both the colors and the texture and look of them. So I'd argue that those are very similar. And for six shades from Flower Beauty, it's about $20 more or less. And $26 for one shade from <laughs> M Cosmetics. M Cosmetics does a good job with their stuff. They really, really do, but I'm gonna have to drop this one. The price is a bit much for me, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, so I've talked about this before. You guys know I'm shopping it for sure, but the actual campaign photos from the Natasha Denona retro campaign have come out, and the ones that we saw, I shared with you guys the sneak peeks. It looked very red, almost like the Love palette, and I wasn't in love with it. I was gonna pick it up regardless because of my channel, but I wasn't super pumped about it. I was expecting something different, and I still wasn't expecting expecting this but this is beautiful. I hope it looks like this and not like those sneak peek photos because it doesn't look quite so red. These are beautiful plummy berry mauvey kind of tones which is right up my alley. So while I do agree it does not look like the mini retro at all, it was not what I was expecting the mini retro to look like. I will say I'm into this palette in general without the retro name on it. It's gorgeous and I didn't pre-order it off of Natasha Denona yet. I'm, I was thinking of waiting to get it at Beautylish or seeing if it showed up at my Sephora, but I don't think they're going to show up at my Sephora because I called. Anyways, I still need to order it. I am going to as soon as it's available and pay for that expedited shipping because it looks gorgeous. So that's my thought on that. Really excited about that. Then we have the Fenty Bomb Posse palette. This is a 12 eyeshadow palette coming soon to Sephora. It's apparently available now in Europe. Very interested in this. This is the first ever eyeshadow palette from Fenty that I've been like, ooh, that looks gorgeous. Now, obviously, it's not a unique color story, but just because I don't own too many eyeshadow formulas from Fenty and because this is a color story that I'm into, I definitely want to have it. And it does look like it's double-sided with some cheek colors on the other side. I think it looks gorgeous. I think this is what Fenty needed for their eyeshadow line because it just wasn't cutting it before. 
those little six pan palettes I never buy. I was never, never, ever interested in those. But I'm interested in this. I will be shopping this whenever it's available. Looks gorgeous. Looks really wearable. Looks right up my alley as far as shades that I'd wear often. So yes, definitely interested in this. Okay. We're on to the last two items. The first one is from Gucci, and this is available right now on Selfridges. It's a cushion foundation, and this one, I believe, is supposed to be more hydrating than the other one that they had. The compact. The compact looks good. There's only six shades, which is weird because the last one I believe had a lot of shades, and they look very, very light. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's very weird. I don't even know if I want to review this. Like normally I would want to review a Gucci foundation, but this launch is kind of looking really, really pathetic. I don't know. Uh, I'm on I'm on the fence about that one. You guys let me know if you want to see a review of this or not, and I may or may not order it. We will see. I'm kind of leaning towards no because there's only six shades. Like, who's going to buy this? <laughs> Anyways. And they look so pink. Very odd. Okay. We're going to talk about the last item that I have to today to share with you guys. I believe I've talked about this in the past before, but let's just throw it in this time because Treadmood just posted this. This is what the holiday collection palette is going to look like from Charlotte Tilbury. I will be shopping it. I buy these every year. It's kind of different, but kind of not. I, the Love Eyes section looks really nice. We've had green, we've had the warm, we've had the neutral. Okay, we've all, we've had this all before, but I really love these. I think these are the best value that you can get from Charlotte Tilbury. And I really do believe the quality on here is top notch, sometimes even better than her luxury quads and the value is so much better. I like this. Is it repetitive? Y yes, it, it is. I mean, we know that Charlotte Tilbury most definitely dupes herself time and time again. She's lucky that her products are good quality. That's all I'm gonna say. But I will be picking this up. I think it's pretty. I really do love these instant looks in a palette. And I loved her pillow talk because there were so many versions of pink. But I prefer to see ones like these because you can get more looks because there's more versatility and more variety in the shades within the palette. So yeah, that's where I am at with that. I am gonna stop this shop or drop here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the new makeup on the market. And please let me know what you would like to see me review and pick up. I can't wait to hear. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.